Hello and welcome back to Warhammer Age of Sigma Mortal Realms, your free video companion to your subscription. In this final episode, we'll be looking at issue five of Mortal Realms. I'm James. And I'm Esme. In this video, you'll find out about the magic of the Mortal Realms and how to use it in your games with your first hero model, the Stormcast Eternals Knight in Cantor, Zandria Azurbolt. This amazing model is an exclusive character unique to the Mortal Realms collection. Yep, she really is an amazing model. Throughout this episode, you'll get to build and paint Zandria and also learn a new way to build models using plastic glue. Before we get to that though, there's loads of new information to discover about magic in the Age of Sigma. Magic flows through the fabric of each of the mortal realms, infusing everything and allowing those who can perceive its flow to tap into the power and use it to cast spells. You can read an overview of the eight colours of magic in your latest magazine and find out about one of the many types of wizards who harness and utilise it, the Knights in Cantor of the Stormcast Eternals. Knights in Cantor are powerful warrior wizards who can summon living storms to obliterate their enemies and are just as good with the sword as with magic. You can read all about their abilities and the arcane equipment they carry, as well as getting a character profile for Zandria Azurbolt herself. Finally, there's a look at the many wars fought by Nagash and his forces of death across the many ages of the Mortal Realms. We're sure you're looking forward to reading all of that. We bet you're also keen to get your new hero model built, painted and onto your battle mat. So let's get cracking. Zandria Azurbolt is your first hero model for Warhammer Age of Sigma. A hero is a special model who moves and fights as a unit by themselves. Heroes are often great leaders, exceptional warriors, or powerful wizards. Zandria Zurbolt is a knight in Cantor, and is all three of these things. She's a perfect hero to lead your Stormcast Eternals into battle against the Night Haunts. Zandria needs to be built slightly differently to your other models. She doesn't push together in the same way as the other miniatures you've built so far. So you'll need to use plastic glue to hold the parts together. If you're a Warhammer Age of Sigma Mortal Realms subscriber, you'll have received a tube of plastic glue already as part of your free gift modeling set. If not, you can get it at your local Warhammer store or from the Games Workshop website. Plastic glue is designed to bond plastic together safely. You can't stick your fingers together with it. Always make sure that when you use plastic glue, you're in a well-ventilated space as it does emit some fumes. To use it, just apply a small amount onto the plastic where it will directly touch. These will be marked in yellow on the handy images in your assembly guide in your magazine. Then press the parts together, hold them firmly in place for a few seconds and voila, the parts should be joined together. Plastic glue will give your models a really strong permanent bond like a weld. It does take a little while to set properly though, so once you've joined the parts, leave your model somewhere safe for a few minutes. Now, there are a couple of things to bear in mind when you're using plastic glue. First of all, you only need a very small amount of glue to get a good bond. If you accidentally use too much, you can soak it up with some paper towel. Do it straight away though, before it has time to set. Like all your other models, the components for Zandria are numbered. Simply clip out the parts you need and put them together following the assembly guide. You'll have Zandria's your bolt ready to paint in no time. Remember how we painted our Secretors and Castigators back in episode 3? Well, that's exactly what we need to do with Zandria. The important thing to remember is that you want to use several thin coats of Retributor armour to get nice, even coverage. By the third, the model should have a lovely gold shine and be ready for action. Now, with Zandria built and painted, it's time to see what she can do in your games. Get ready to harness the magic of the Mortal Realms. So far in our games, we've learned how to move, shoot and fight in combat. Now we're adding magical abilities to that. Magic is used in a new phase at the start of a player's turn called the hero phase. In future issues, you'll discover a wide range of abilities that are used in that phase. Eventually, you'll have lots of heroes in your collection and lots of different abilities to draw on. For now, we'll focus on casting spells. This game pits Zandria Azurbolt against a horde of chain rasps. 10 against 1. This looks good for the Night Haunts. Hmm, we'll see. 
Sandria is a powerful hero in her own right. She's not just a wizard, she's a formidable fighter too. When she gets into combat, she can make three attacks, each of which can do multiple damage, just like the Maimon Banshees from issue two. Between this and her magical powers, I think she can deal with the Chain Rasps. Set up your battle mat as shown in the magazine. Like last time, you'll only be using half of it for now, so remember to fold it over before you lay it down. Grab your dice and range ruler and a few coins for markers, and let's go. In this game, Zandria goes first and starts with her hero phase, where she gets to use her spell, our first spell so far in the mortal realms, Arcane Bolt. This represents Zandria harnessing the storm magic of the realm of Azir and channeling it into a bolt of lightning or a powerful tempest that she can use to attack the Chain Rasps. Each spell has a casting value. To cast a spell, you roll two dice and add the results together. If you roll equal to or higher than the casting value, it's a success. Arcane Bolt has a casting value of five, so a five or higher on the total of the two dice succeeds. So let's get rolling. Okay, I've rolled a total of 10 on the two dice. That's way more than five, so the Arcane Bolt is definitely cast. In fact, it's so powerful that it will cause extra damage. Yep, the Arcane Bolt spell says that if you cast it, it causes one damage to the target. But if the roll is 10 or more, it causes D3 damage. All right then. To determine the D3 result, roll a dice and refer to the table in the magazine. A one or two does one damage, three or four causes two damage, and five or six deals three damage. If you want to remember this quickly during a game, just half the dice roll and round up. Let's see what we get. You've rolled a three, which means you do two damage to my chain rasps. So that's two of them banished back to Shaiish, the realm of death. Take that, Night Haunts. Feel the power of Sigmar's storm. Zandria Azure Bolt is amazing. That arcane bolt is deadly. And once she gets into combat and starts using that star... She is powerful, right? I wonder what would happen if I used my other units against her, though. Well, maybe you can find that out at home and look forward to trying her out against even more enemies as your adventures in the mortal realms continue. That brings us to the end of this episode and to the end of this series. But do not fear. The Warhammer Age of Sigmar Mortal Realms magazine is only just beginning. Yep, over the next few issues, you'll get your first Nighthorn hero, the dreaded Briar Queen, along with her bodyguard, the Thorns of the Briar Queen. You'll also get new paints that will help you to learn new techniques and make your Stormcast Eternals look even better. And that's just the beginning. Over the course of the collection, you'll build up two massive armies, including some of the mightiest heroes of the Stormcast Eternals and Night Haunts. You'll also get loads of scenery to add to your battle mats and more paints and brushes to keep adding details to your models. The magazine will continue to guide you through building and painting your models and will teach you all the ins and outs of playing Warhammer Age of Sigmar. By the time it's over, you'll be an expert player with two amazing armies. Each issue will also continue to immerse you in the amazing lore and stories of the Mortal Realms. You'll explore each of these realms and discover great heroes and villains, as well as getting an insight into the forces of the Stormcast Eternals and Night Haunts. If you've not already subscribed to the series, you can do so right now on the Warhammer Age of Sigma Mortal Realms website so you never miss an issue. We hope you enjoy building your collection. We have certainly loved helping you start it. See you later. Bye.